Part 2 of the Nuzlocke, picking up where we last left off. Our lizard boy had just saved us from a bunch of... No, well, he did not save us yet. But you know what I mean. Nimona finds the opening in the cave and is like, Come up here! Um, we need to get out of here. And she's admiring how strong the lizard looks after being concerned about me for two seconds. I think it might be a red flag, guys. A bunch of a uh, hound, um, houndor, run around the corner and apparently have beef with my lizard for like no reason. So he scares him away, and we just keep walking. Let's just keep following through, I guess. Follow the lizard through the mysterious cave. And up, oh, looks like Houndoom wants to beef with me, and I was like, don't mess with my hawks. He's level, like, six? Don't mess with me. I'll take you out. And then he was level 40, I was like, oh crap. Run away, run away, run away, run away. And I think there should be a cutscene, so I guess stuff's about to go down. Oh. Oh no. The round's rumbling, and he summoned all the dogs to come sick me. Bam. He's all like, back off, buddy. He's like, okay, I will, but my friends won't. And all the dogs should start rampaging. Even though there's like 20 of them, only like 8 of them appear on screen. And Lizard's about to go crazy on them, but remembers that there's a weak little 10-year-old boy right behind them, probably about to get torn to shreds by a bunch of dogs. But Lizard comes out of nowhere, scoops me, and just heads out. And uh, a little bit of intermission, and after a few seconds, I'm saved and out of the cave. And uh, I guess the dogs just won't care. And one is like, wow, I thought you guys were doing dead. Lizard Boy faces the lighthouse. We have no idea why, but we decide to follow him out the cave, and all of a sudden, he loses his Super Saiyan form. I guess Sandwich wouldn't have lasted forever, so maybe the Sandwich was worth giving to him. So after the near death experience, I do not go tell my mother who was literally a few feet away in the house. Um, I rather would go out to the world where I just almost died and hawks couldn't handle a hop ip, which is kind of funny. My team before approaching this emo white haired kid and cause Tarantula didn't look so good so I healed him up real quick. This is not a hardcore, it's just a normal Nuzlocke. Meet this super rude guy named question mark question mark question mark. And he said we can show off. And since I don't speak Espanolis wait, no, I don't speak jerk language, I don't know what this means. And I'm assuming it just means you guys can go leave and mind your own business. He's like, aren't you Arvin? In that one class? He's like, it doesn't matter who my mom is, and I was like, uh, okay, jeez, I mean, I would kind of brag about it, but if you want to have mental issues and whine about it, you can do that too, I guess. Nomona explains how I almost got torn to shreds to this Arvin guy, and it kind of got lost its Super Saiyan powers, and he was like, yeah, but it can't fight while I was like this, it's all weak and stuff. You need its true form. He wants to go to the lab, but it's locked apparently, and I didn't even know man lived this close to our neighborhood. And we asked what kind of Pokemon it is, and he totally just ignores us. And he's like, test your worthiness if you think you can have this lizard. And I was like, okay. I mean, I'll beat the snot out of you if you want, but if you're asking for it, I'll do it still.
Hey, and this guy must be strong if he wants to test our worthiness for the legendary box art. Nope, it's just a squelvit. After waiting a while, start using workouts so I can get really strong and get ahead. Then just start keep using it so maybe these next few battles will be easy and nobody, hopefully nobody, will ever get killed immediately in an undesirable way. <coughs> Foreshadowing. After smacking his squirrel a few times, I, I win the battle. And it was really easy. Yeah, that that was it. He had a squirrel, and he's like, "Oh man, you're you're so strong." Even though I had a level five squirrel. He sounds like he's using a Pokemon that he just got, so apparently he had no other Pokemon except for like one other, and I'm sure nobody knows what that Pokemon is, right? I'm a little late to the game, but he gives me Coridon's Pokeball, and he's like, um, and then, no, yeah, nothing. He literally just left us, and I was AFK, because YouTube. Mona invited me to the top of the lighthouse. I don't know why. I keep forgetting this happens, but she's like, look, look at Mesa Goza. Look at those beautiful graphics. I, I have to say that the graphics look pretty good, but she's like, aren't you going to be excited for school? Like, it'll be amazing. And I said, yeah, but I don't, don't want to do all that homework. Man, she did not like that one bit. And she's like, just think about it. We get to learn how to battle even more, because I'm a battle addict. Look, you can see everything, mountains, grasslands, and there's a lot of stuff that you can't see, but we're going to go see it. Um, welcome to Paul Day, I guess. After that nice introduction to the Spain-based region, I guess we're off. She explains how, um, we should probably head to Los Platos first, but since I was kind of distracted, I went AFK for lots of, st st like... 10 seconds, I guess. We should go to Las Platos for starters. It's a great place to stop by. It's got a Pokey shop. On the way, I caught a Fido. And I forgot to give these two Pokemon names. So if they ever die, maybe it's a good thing. Because I want to name them anyways. So apparently it smells really good. And it's fairy type. I feel like there should be a food typing, but that might be too realistic. While taking a little detour, I ran into a flamigo, and since I'm kind of scared of those things, and they ruined my first run, um, we're gonna catch one this time and see how it goes. And I threw the Pokeball at it, and of course, it's flawless. So flying back to the lighthouse, because uh, it was going to take too long to walk back from how far I'd gotten, we're on our way to the first Pokemart, Pokemon Center? They're like gas stations at this point, but with no gas, so I guess it's a station. Nimona's yelling at me to come over, so I do, and look, it's the first Poke Center, and it has ads on it. They look kind of familiar, and sometimes they have a starter Pokemon on it, but Miss Joy takes over. So, this time we have the store right next to her, we have the Pokemon Center, and we have the TM Maker. This game, TM's a break, but you can make them easily. We were out on our way to find our next partner, and... 
what, um, my first one, I actually have a different Pokemon, but this time, I have the same thing in mind, and we're looking for a shiny, because I want that YouTuber luck, and I don't like any of these Pokemon. I'm not doing, like, the first thing you see you must catch, but if I see something, I can only catch one thing per area, and I see a Shrudel, and I love Shrudels. They're so cute, they're like a little chicken nugget with eyes and hair, and those are actually its teeth, not the tongue. After, sh after shooting some water at it, I throw the Pokeballs, and of course, it's another flawless catch, because I'm ever so amazing. Oh, the grass looks terrible in this game. Even though I said the graphics were good two seconds ago, I guess. So I catch him and I name him Joe, because Joe Mama. Uh, I never said that. And apparently he's only eight centimeters? That's like crazy short. Looks like me. Anyways, we're about to make it into town and just when we're about to make it, guess who has to show up and ruin my day? It's Namona. She wants to battle me again. But, you know, it's a really big door. Like, how am I supposed to push that open? That's crazy heavy. You know what time it is? It's battle time. She sends out her Fue Coco, and I send out Hawks. This will be an easy, big battle. Won't it? Won't, won't it? Her Pokemon goes down in about two attacks. Really easy, and she's like, wow, you know tight matchups? I can really tell you're getting good at this. And I was like, yeah, definitely. She tackles me, but it does nothing. Also, we send out Flamigo against her Pommy, thinking that he was my strongest Pokemon yet. But I forgot he's not just fighting type, he's flying type, because he's a Flamingo. I probably should have thought of that first. And without realizing, the Pommy outspeeds me by a lot. And she terrestrializes, and her Pommy gets a hat. I want one of those too, but I don't get one until later, so I guess I'll have to beat the snot out of this mouse first. I kick it, and I get paralyzed immediately, which is no good, because I already know I'm probably gonna get paralyzed for like three turns straight. So in this game, terrestrializing, just bas basically makes you stronger, but changes the type of your Pokemon. But they hit a terrestrialized thunder on me while there's an electric type. And sadly, Flamigo dies off screen. I didn't have the clip, but I thought I could outspeed. It didn't work. We had our first death. Already so early into the game, it felt like it was a huge L. Smack in the face. I send out another Pokemon hoping to outspeed, and she ends up hitting this one and almost, I'd say taking it down to half, but also paralyzes this one. It's crazy, so of course I gotta go with a lick, the only most hitting attack, and I thought it paralyzed, but it didn't. And it's literally on like 2 HP, and it's about to die, and it's frustrating. She lands another hit on me, and I think I'm about to kill another Pokemon, but it lives on 4 HP and is able to hit a tackle and take it out. First battle, like third battle of the game and we're already in danger. It's kinda sad. We finally make it inside the city's walls cause I'm pretty sure this place takes like an attack on Titan cause we don't need walls this huge, it makes no sense. We finally make it inside a Mesa Goza and we get our little tour. She's like, wow, this is the biggest city in Paldea. It's huge, but there's only two things you can do here, basically. Shop and get clothes, but not really get clothes, because we're only going to let you get, like, two things. Personally, I'd probably hit the hair salon first. Or tasty food. Okay, so I made the wrong decision. I hope I pick tasty food. I'm recording as I'm watching this clip, and I'm really bad at this, but I'm kind of narrating through my first playthrough, not as we're going through it. Okay, so I did pick the hair salon. Good choice, my good choice. You do need a haircut. That's the end. Have a good day. Keep watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.